Okay, so that illuminates pretty strong. I'm going to have to change my gloves, as you can see. Or else it'll get all over the white. This is Lumineer Turquoise. It's a very beautiful color. It comes in a set. And the link to the set is in the description. It's really sparkly. I love it. And then this is Bombay ink. And it's also a turquoise color. And then the last color I'm going to use is White by Casting Craft. And this stuff is really awesome. It's good for making waves and feathering in your resin. gonna change my gloves get a fresh pair And you can see I already got some blue on the white, so I'm just going to spray a little alcohol on a rag and wipe it off. And then I'm going to start pouring. And I'm just going to do little puddle pours right on top of each other, different colors. Doesn't matter in what order until all my resin has run out. Thank you. 
So now I'm just gonna hit it with the torch a little bit to make it move around and start sliding it. And I slide it a little and then I stop and let it set for a second so I can go back towards the middle. And then I go for another slide and then let it set. And I kind of keep repeating that until I get it all around to the edges. Once I get it to the edge, I just let it sit and let it move to where it wants. And then you can torch it up a bit to get some cells move that resin around you can see some really pretty cells starting to form you can do this with any color combination that you want it's good to use different brands of dyes, pigments, paints, whatever together because they interact with each other and give you really pretty cells. And as you watch it, it's still just moving around by itself and just doing its own little thing. It's very pretty. So I like to let this dry for about 24 hours and then I do one to two coats of clear resin over the top just to make it a little bit more thicker. And I'll give you a close up here. There's some really pretty cells in there. And thank you guys for watching my video. Please like, share, and subscribe. You can see this and some of my other work at paintingsfromkeywest.com. Thank you so much. Oh, and don't forget to cover it up, guys. That's really important. I don't know about you guys, but I have cats in my house and hairs will get in there. This is another one I did with some purples and some glitter. It's really pretty. I love it.